are they swimming towards us? Ah! Cool! They're working as a team now! That's right! Go home! No more violence for you two! Yes! We got the shrimps to stop fighting and work together! That's great for them, but not for us! Look! Hit subscribe and click the like icon. Do you see her, Leo? No. I hope Farah's okay. Me too. She wanted us to come right away. <sighs> Did you hear something? You're here! Fara! Fara! Ugh! Seaweed! Where's my handbook? Ah, here it is! We got your message about an intense fight underwater. Are you okay? What happened? I'm okay, but it's chaotic down there. They're still fighting. Let's go stop them! No! It's too dangerous! I barely escaped! Who or what is having that fight? Is it a shark? A giant squid? A shark fighting a giant squid? It's worse. I can't even bring myself to tell you what they are. Whoa. <laughs> Let's find out exactly what we're dealing with from a safe distance. Hero, can we use your camera? Good idea, Leo. I'll help control it with my tablet. Okay, now let's see what we've got. I don't see anything. Just a little to the left? Hmm, try going to the right instead. There, there they are! What? Where? Go closer! Going closer. Huh? Shrimps? shrimps? Angry, fighting shrimps. That's it. I thought they'd be bigger. What exactly are they? Let's find out. These are no ordinary shrimps. Peacock mantis shrimps are a type of crustacean. That means they have hard outer shells. Are they dangerous? Far is right. They may be small, but mantis shrimps can be aggressive. They're armed with special weapons of their own. There are two types of mantis shrimps, the smashers and the spearers. Smashers have front claws that are tipped with something that looks like a hammer. These shrimps pack a punch. They use their hammer-like claws to smash things. Spearers have sharp points at the end of their claws, like a little spear. They use that to poke things. Are peacock mantis shrimps smashers or spearers? Oh no, they're at it again! Whoa, that was fast! But if we slow the footage down, we can see that peacock mantis shrimps are... Smashers! No, no, no! According to my handbook, chapter 4, page 2, animals shouldn't be smashing each other! Don't worry, Farah. We'll break up the fight. Okay, Hero, I'll get it back for you. Ugh, I can't see a thing. The camera is not responding. Let's turn Platypus 1 into a giant mantis shrimp. When those tiny mantis shrimps see how big it is, they'll be so scared that they'll forget all about their fight. Are you sure you want to do that? What if the mantis shrimp breaks something? Don't worry, Farah. I think Platypus 1 can take on a couple of shrimpy shrimps. Okay, guys, let's turn Platypus 1 into an unbeatable mantis shrimp monster. Ready, Farah? Yeah! Now! We 
got their attention. Good job, Farah. I'm bringing us closer. Roger that, Leo. Rawr, shrimps, break it up, break it up. Huh? huh? Why are they swimming towards us? Ah! <laughs> cool, they're working as a team now. That's right, go home. No more violence for you two. Yes, we got the shrimps to stop fighting and work together. That's great for them, but not for us. Look! Uh-oh, time to get out of here. Hang on tight, Farah. <sighs> we made it out alive. I'll never underestimate shrimps again. Are you okay back there, Farah? Rawr! Rawr! Oops, I mean, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, seahorses! Come over and take a look, guys! It seems as if the seahorse is chasing another seahorse around! <gasps> Could it be a bully? Hmm, but we don't know anything about the seahorse. Let's find out more about it. I just sent you a photo of the seahorse, Katie. I'm already on it, Leo. It seems the seahorse is a big belly seahorse. It's one of the biggest seahorses in the world. The male big belly seahorse has a smooth belly, while the female's belly is more pointed. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Are you two in love? Oh! Would you like us to help you win her heart? I think that's a yes. All right, let's do it. Sleeping dolphin, come in, sleeping dolphin. We're approaching the whale. Whoa, it's amazing how she dodges him every time. Does she have eyes in the back of her head, sleeping dolphin? Almost, Kyle. Big belly seahorses, like other seahorses, have eyes that move independently of each other. This means that they can look in any direction. Wow, that's so cool. What if we tried impressing her instead? In the wild, it's all about being the strongest and fastest animal. How fast can you swim, Mr. Seahorse? I think he can swim very fast, Kyle. His fins are too little. Is there a way we can help him swim faster then? Oh, I have an idea. But we're gonna need Hero's jetpack. Hang on tight, Mr. Seahorse. <laughs> I think he went a little too fast. How else can we help him? Some animals use colors to attract a mate. Maybe we should try decorating Mr. Seahorse with different colors. Yeah, it'll be like a makeover. You look dashing, Mr. Seahorse. I hope she'll be impressed when she sees you this time. I don't know, guys. Don't you think it's too much? It'll be fine, Leo. She's right over there. Go on, show off your beautiful new colors. Oh no, the female seahorse wasn't attracted, but that crab sure is. What are you doing, Leo? Crabs are attracted to light. Hey, crab, over here. Whoa, he's pretty fast. Thanks, hero. It's okay, Mr. Seahorse. The coast is clear now. 
You look so sad. The path to true love never runs smooth. Or maybe you're just on the wrong path. Hello, Junior Rangers. It's true that lots of animals use either speed, strength, or colors to attract a mate, but the big belly seahorse just isn't one of them. To find a mate, they dance. Dance? That's right, Junior Rangers. Male big belly seahorses attract females with a courtship dance, where the seahorses swim with each other, waggle their fins, and entwine their tails. So that's what the seahorse was trying to do earlier. He was just trying to dance. All he needs is a little music for him to show off his moves. Underwater Dance Party! He's feeling the music! They're going to start a family. Ah, goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Mr. Seahorse. Oh, hi, Junior Ranger Kyle. What are you up to today? Hi, Leo. Exciting news. I just discovered a completely new breed of animal. It has the bill and web feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and the tail of a beaver. Wow, that does sound very unusual. I'm going to name it the Kylosaurus. It disappeared before I could get a picture. Oh, wait. There it is again. I'm going to try to take a photo of my amazing discovery and send it to you. Talk to you later. Ranger out. Ranger out. An animal with the bill and webbed feet of a duck, the fur and body of an otter, and a... What did he say again? A tail like a beaver. Hmm, that animal sounds familiar. Okay. It's a platypus. Platypus. The platypus, also known as the duck-billed platypus, looks like an otter, but it has a duck bill, webbed feet, and a tail like a beaver. Here's another unusual fact about the platypus. While other mammals give birth to their young, platypuses are one of the few mammals who lay eggs instead. Hi, Kyle. Guys, I think the Kylosaurus, I mean the platypus, wants me to follow it. What is it, buddy? You want to show me something? But my ATV can't go into the water. But our Jeep, the platypus one can. Sounds like the platypus needs help. Send us your location, Kyle. We'll be right over. On it. See you guys soon. Ranger out. Ranger out. No worries. They'll be here soon. That's them. In their very own platypus. Hey, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Anytime, Kyle. All right, buddy. Lead the way. Wow, it's quick. Then we better keep up. Platypus one, activate. How can something that walks so slowly swim so quickly? Platypuses are able to swim gracefully underwater by paddling with their front webbed feet and steering with their hind feet and tail. Uh-oh, hang on guys, rough water's ahead. Whoa! Whoa! That was close. Uh, help! Kyle! Oh no! Kyle fell in the water! Katie, take the wheel! Got it, Leo! Kyle, I'm gonna throw you a rope! Just grab hold of it and we'll pull you in! Roger that! Hero, get the rope and give it to me! Kyle, quick! Grab the rope and tie it around your boomerang, then throw it to me. 
Here it comes. Oh, no. Got it. Just a little more. Grab my hand, Kyle. Thanks, Chief. <laughs> and thank you, Hero. Is everybody all right? Shoot, bet. A little water never hurt nobody. Hey, where's the platypus? Look, it's over there. It just went underwater for a bit. Let's follow that platypus. Hi, hi, Captain. Hey, it stopped. What's it doing to that tree trunk? It looks like it's trying to get to something behind it. What's behind the tree, little buddy? I bet that the platypus is trying to get to her young inside her burrow. Ranger Rocky! Platypuses live in burrows found along lakes, rivers, and streams. They prefer to build their burrows on banks with roots or beneath dense vegetation or rocks, making it hard to spot. The fallen tree must be blocking the entrance to her burrow. That's why she needs our help. Let's hook that tree to Platypus One and get it out of the way. Ranger Rocky, do you think you can help us with the winch? Of course, Junior Rangers. I'll help too. Stand clear. Whoa, there really was a burrow there. We did it. I hope everything is okay in there. Good thinking, Hero. Now let's see where she went. Baby platypuses! We did it! We reunited the platypus family! The platypus has got to be one of the strangest creatures ever! I just wish I had discovered it first. Don't worry, Kyle. I'm sure you'll discover an animal that's just as cool. Guys, do you see that? Is it a worm? Is it a bug? I think it might be a new species. I'm going to call it the Kyla Pillar. <laughs> <laughs> Hit subscribe and click the like icon. <laughs>